Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, I am recording from my parents' house and we are going to continue lesson 26, chapter 5, chemical bonding on molecular polarity. We are going to learn how to explain what is bond polarity and dipole moment and we are going to deduce the polarity of molecules based on the shape and the resultant dipole moment. Let's say we have a rod and then we scrub it with cloth, a piece of cloth, and then the rod would accumulate a lot of electron on it. It will become negatively charged. So we take that negatively charged rod to a stream of water in our kitchen and we can see that the water will bend. Deflection will occur. Why? Because water is a polar molecule. It has negative charge on the oxygen atom. Electron will repulse electron. So the stream of water is going to be deflected. What is a polar bond? Polar bond is bond that occur between the atoms that are polarized because of the difference in electronegativities of the atom. For example, we have hydrogen iodide, Hi. Iodine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So if we calculate the total dipole moment, 2.1 minus 2.5, the total dipole moment of this HI molecule is 0 0.4. For water also, we can calculate the total dipole moment. Oxygen is the electronegative part, whereas the two bonding pair of electrons connected to hydrogen is the positively charged part and the total dipole moment is 1.4. How do we know which atom is more electronegative? We have learned in the previous chapter that fluorine is the most electronegative atom. Therefore, the elements that are nearer to fluorine would be more electronegative than the atoms that is further away from fluorine in the predictable. What is a polar molecule? Polar molecule is a dipole molecule in which the positive and negative pole can be distinguished because of the separation of the charge. For example, carbon dioxide has two polar bonds, one on the left polarized towards oxygen and one on the right polarized towards oxygen. So if we cross out both same polar bonds, it's going to have a total dipole moment equal to zero. And the vector of the dipole moment looks like that. This molecule is nonpolar. Now, let's look at another example of a polar molecule, which is hydrogen fluoride. At the hydrogen part is the electron poor region, and the fluorine part is the electron rich region. So, we put the arrow of the dipole moment towards fluorine and the end of the arrow would have a cross sign um, so that we know that this is the electropositive part. What is dipole moment? Dipole moment is a quantitative measure of a polarity of a ball that can only be measured experimentally. For example, just now we talked about carbon dioxide. It is a nonpolar molecule having a dipole moment equal to zero. But hydrogen fluoride has a dipole moment not equal to zero. It has a value. The direction of a polarity of a polar bond can be symbolized by a vector quantity as shown here. The cross end of the arrow is the positive end for electropositive atom and the arrowhead is the negative end for the electronegative atom. ثُمَّ الْآن إِفْتَى فِي صُفْحَ مِئَا وَأَهْدَى وَأَرْبَعُونَ See example 5.11. Predict the polarity of compound below by showing the dipole moment, HCl. 
draw HCL using its molecular shape linear and then you draw the vector. The arrow is pointing towards CL because CL is more electronegative than hydrogen. And then we would know that this is a polar bond. Polar bond has the total dipole moment equal to not zero. It has some sort of a value there, 1.4, 2.1. So therefore, we can make a conclusion that hydrogen chloride is polar. The second molecule is carbon dioxide. It has two polar bonds, but the two polar bonds is symmetrically arranged towards the left and right part of the compound. So we know that the total dipole moment is equal to zero because whatever value that it has, it will cancel each other off. So carbon dioxide molecule is a non-polar compound. But what happens if we have covalent bond between same atoms? Covalent bond between atoms of the same element is non-polar. So if we have same atom, in one compound of a covalent molecule, the bonding electrons are shared equally. For example, 5.12, please write all these molecules down. F2, O2, O3, and N2, nitrogen gas. When we have different atoms, the covalent bond between them is polar because the bonding electrons are closer to the more electronegative atom. However, molecules could be polar or nonpolar depending on its shape. Molecules with different atoms and symmetrically arranged are polar. For example, 5.13. HCl is a polar molecule. For molecules which have different atoms symmetrically arranged but the total dipole moment is equal to zero, they are nonpolar. For example, CCl4, you can see that the four bonding pairs are pointing towards the terminal atom chlorine and all of them will cancel each other off. Another example of a symmetry molecule shape is SF6, which have six bonding pairs of electron, whereby each bond is polar, but since the shape is symmetrical, they will cancel each other off also. But for this molecule, it has different atoms as terminal. It is symmetrically arranged, but it still have the dipole moment not equal to zero. Therefore, CCL3H is polar. The difference in dipole moment arises because hydrogen atom is the different terminal atom compared to the other three chlorine atom. Another example of a symmetrical shape which is polar is chloromethane, CH3Cl. This molecule is polar. But what happens to the molecules which have lone pairs on the central atom? Yes, as we can guess and predict, these molecules are usually polar because the lone pairs versus lone pairs of electrons is going to have a stronger repulsion whereby the shape is going to be asymmetrical and having bond pairs, it would have a value in its dipole moment. A very clear example here is the molecule ammonia whereby we have one lone pair of electron for the central atom nitrogen. We have three bonding pairs of electron and the electronegativity is moving towards nitrogen. So the net dipole moment is not equal to zero. Ammonia is a polar compound. 
What happens if we have a different terminal atom? Look at NH3. The resultant dipole moment is 1.46 d. Whereas NF3, the resultant dipole moment is 0.24 d. The total dipole moment is different, but both compounds are polar. If we have a question like this, which of the following molecules are polar? Draw their shapes and show the dipole moment. We have to draw the geometrical shape of the molecule, for example, here, H2O water. And then you are going to draw the dipole moment vector pointing towards the more electronegative atom oxygen. And then we know that the total dipole moment is not equal to zero. Water is a polar molecule. The second molecule is carbon dioxide. As we have done previously, carbon dioxide is a non-polar molecule. Sulfur dioxide is a polar molecule. And CH4 having a symmetrical shape with the same terminal atom is non-polar molecule. Basically, we have done predicting molecular polarity, but let's go through the steps one by one. First, you need to draw a reasonable Lewis structure. Then, we need to identify whether they are polar bonds or not. If there are no poly bonds because the atoms in the molecule are the same, it is non-polar. But if it is polar, let's move on to step number three. If there is only one central atom, examine the electron groups around it. If there are no lone pairs and all the bonds to the central atom are the same, the molecule is non-polar. But if the central atom has at least one polar bond and if the groups bonded to the central atom are not identical, the molecule is probably polar. Let's move on to step four. Then we draw the geometric sketch of the molecule and determine the symmetry of the molecule using the following steps. Describe the polar bonds with arrow of dipole pointing towards the more electronegative element and decide whether the arrangement of arrows is symmetrical or asymmetrical. If the arrangement is symmetrical to the molecule, it is non-polar. But if it is asymmetrical, the molecule is polar. This is your homework, practice 5.7, question number one and number two. Thank you for watching and listening. I will see you again soon in the next lesson. Bye.